try. So kind of back in Brisbane for the first time in a while. Uh, I understand you have some pretty fond memories of this city. Yeah, well, it's a great tours in 94 and 99. I can't believe I'm not back. I think the last time I left here was with a broken jaw, I think, after the first test. So, uh, no, looking forward to it. It's a, it's a great... We've done a lot of travel on this. We've been to Singapore, we've gone to Fiji and now uh, back here. So we've been through some time zones and just looking forward. It'll, we know it's going to be a massive challenge this week, uh, a massive challenge for us. But uh, hopefully we'll get some little wins in the match and take something out of it. You guys have made a couple of changes to your team. Can you just talk us through those? Yeah, well, there's an element of consistency. We talked you know, about the nines at the start and... Uh, we feel there's real com competition for those, so we want to give everyone equal opportunity, and this is Tito's chance you know, to, ha to have a go. And it, it's it's getting that balance between consistency in the selection, uh, but also freshening up the team to give it that. You know, hopefully Marco Lazzaroni comes off the bench and adds energy, and uh, in, in terms of getting a new cap, and we'll have seen five new caps through these three weeks. Um, you know, we've come here with. Not a huge amount of experience. Uh, the one injury we've picked up is Roberto Barbieri. It's nice to see, uh, you know, who's not available for this weekend. But, you know, nice to see Jamba Venditti coming back in for Leo Sarto, get his a chance to play. And, and hopefully we, we came so close, we should have beaten Fiji on the balance when you look back in the game. But we know that this is a step up in class. This is a massive challenge, there's no shirking. We know how tough this is going to be. And the Wallabies on a backlash. Um, but we'll get up and I said to our fellas, we're going to take the game to them. There's no point in us standing back. If we stand back, it's a disaster. We have to both sides of the ball. We have to take the game to, to them and, and play our way, not try and play the Wallabies way. We'll play our way and see where it takes us. You mentioned you've, you've got a bit of history with Czech as well. You've coached against him and that sort of thing. And just tell us a little bit about uh, your past encounters. No, I, mean, I, I came across Michael when he was in Leinster, uh, you know, just because that's where I'm from. Uh, and when he took over there, and I think the only time we've really played against each other was probably the Challenge Cup final. But it's teams that play against each other. It's not coaches. And... We edged that one, um, you know, pretty controversial at the end. But, um, you know, hopefully I'm looking forward to, to meeting up with them. I met with them a couple of months ago at the draw for the World Cup and um, hopefully have a beer or two on, on Saturday night and catch up um, because, you know, we all know that we have difficult jobs and it's nice to share some, uh, you know, some, some good moments with them and share some ideas as well. So hopefully Saturday night we'll have a catch up over a beer and it won't be a controversial end like it was in 2011.